because I'm too much of a professional. Uh, you can put that on mine. <sighs> Yay. Okay, let's see. Apparently we're live. You really need my concoction at first. Where's the pumpkin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> hmm. I made it for you. What is right. this for? What in the world sure is I this? I appease you in some other way. Bonjour. <coughs> Scooper. Ooh, sorry. We are alive. Hmm. We are? I got nothing on Facebook. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Whoa. Hi, Joanne. Susan. Bandana's on. She was the first. Susie, hello, our friend. Thank you so much oh for that goodness, wonderful look. post yesterday. Mom, look. Hey, wow, everyone. Going mm -hmm. Baddies on. Darren's on. Yay. Julie, Don. Going Batty, you can put your link in a couple of times today so everybody knows you're on tonight. In case I forget to say it. Hmm. hmm. I hope oh. it doesn't look like this for everyone. <laughs> cool. Okay. Hmm. Uh, here we go. This is why. Somebody yes. just turned the quality level down on your You're pew. guessing that these are sharp. Hi, yeah, Dave, are you feeling better? Sharp, no. Margaret says hi, everyone. Soft. Dave's not feeling better. It's Mike's not, not feeling soft. better. <laughs> Mom's got it. BJ's throwing up. Coco Noel says pumpkin season, so bacon bits, bring sure. it. Did you say something about bacon bits? No. <laughs> that would be awesome. But that would be tasty, I bet. I bet it would. Ooh, you should roast your pumpkin seeds in bacon grease. Hi, Lori. Uh, should Michelle. we try that today? Uh huh. Uh huh. We should try that. Today. <coughs> okay. Today we are roasting pumpkin seeds. Go get your pen. Pen, yay! Well, do you, don't you mean sharpie? Your sharpie. Oh, and right. today Jack wanted to carve his pumpkin on the show, and Mom and Dad are not feeling good, so we said, sure, go for it. <laughs> Where? Um. It? Oh, Margaret, I'm so glad you love your dining on a Mom, dime. Yay. No I'll just pick one. There's got to be one in there. Um, Jamie, hello. Sure. Michelle says, sorry, my computer did it. What did your computer do, Michelle? I don't know. Oh, calling you Tara. Okay, so let's no see. No worries. So we got to cut the thing, the top out first. So what you need to do is make yourself a little notch like that. Can you see the little notch? Make yourself wow. a notch. Actually, it should be bigger than that, but... Like huge delay between this and that. So. Um, and then to get your top out, okay? So then your top f has a proper place to fit. Okay, so let's get the top out first, and we'll do the pumpkin seeds while you're cutting the rest of it, okay? So what do I do? Okay, so what do I do? Do I shove it in? I start right here. There you go. Okay, now saw around. All right, so BJ and I, despite the fact that BJ was throwing up and I am horribly sick, got the last hundred Wait, orders done. Oh no. And <coughs> we got the order shipped out though. We were faithful, we persevered. They are on the way to the Denver Mail Post Office place. Hmm. Well, so, Karen's watching from the hospital. She said she had surgery today. Oh, Karen. Ashley says, my family loves when they cook out of your cookbook. I hope it went well. I forgot it was today. I hope it went well, too. This is easier than it was last time. Do we need to cheer you up? Mm -hmm. It's going easier. Like I'm off the line. Is that okay? It's okay. Just get, just move your way back to the line. Coco Noel says, beautiful Going pumpkins. Is that green one behind you a squash? So Ellie found this one yesterday at the pumpkin patch. Oh, and it's got the bad side. Here, let's turn it around. And she was so excited. She had to walk like a quarter of a mile to the end of the pumpkin pumpkin patch to pick it up and she found it and she's like oh this is so cool and then she got this little pink one right here can you scoot that way no just lean see that little pink one right there she got she was super excited so we're gonna save the seeds so we can grow them next year everyone says we're looking a little pale today can you yeah. correct that dave <laughs> we're looking a little pale you guys should see dave back here wrapped in his blanket but he's faithful He's Amy, looking pretty dapper. Yeah, my arm is hurting. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Hello, everyone from rainy Maine. Dab on them. Oh. 
So it is 80 here today in Colorado. Mike wanted to turn on the air conditioner. I was like, I refuse to turn on the air conditioner the last week of October in Colorado. Whenever it gets above 80, Tara usually gets all sick and... So yeah. he was thinking of me. I was like, no way, am I turning on the air conditioner? Only for the show. In October. Actually, it doesn't really feel that hot in here to me. Oh, maybe I'm cold. Me. It's really hot in here. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'm feeling cold today. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now <coughs> then we're going to boop. And Brown says Grandma called it looking pasty. She had a way with words. There you go. Oh, Janine says I had a pumpkin patch and only got two pumpkins out of it, which oh, I gave to the man. grandkids. Our most effect, our most successful pumpkins were when we gave up and threw the pumpkins in the compost, compost. pile, and the next year a whole bunch of pumpkins came out. Of I there. always do really well with my composting pumpkins. Ta-da, da 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 I always hate taking all the gunk out. That's why I didn't want to do it. Yeah, everybody hates taking the gunk out. You want me to do that? Okay, well you can if you want. Man, one pumpkin can grow, grow tr a ton. It can grow <laughs> a ton of seeds, can it? Yeah, I know. Uh, so. Everyone says, sorry that we we're feeling unwell. And Christine said, sick and did your work anyway. Good for you. Yeah, well, if I don't, people will start yelling at me. <laughs> Mom. Uh, Mom. Okay. What are we going to use for this? <clears throat> right, that thing right there. This? You want to do it? Oh, I thought we were going to use okay, that thing so over there. Okay, so there's the pumpkin. Me? No. So, no? Okay, so this, we got this carving kit. Mike just got it because ours is up in the attic, and we haven't gotten in the attic to get any decorations down for fall yet. <clears throat> It's almost Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I think we're going to be passing fall this year. And I don't know, we may be passing Christmas too, the way we're going. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so normally we buy one of these, one of huh. these kits if it breaks the year before. We used to keep them, but then they started breaking on clearance for like a dollar after Christmas. Now, or I mean after Halloween, excuse me. Now you can use, oh, where'd it go? Oh, this thing here is an ice cream scoop. I don't know if you can find that. You can look up and see if you can find a flat ice cream scoop. This is an ice cream scoop and it works really well. Jamie says ready for the snow tomorrow. Just, well, I just looked at the weather, Jamie, and it said we're not getting snow Wait, now. What? We're it not getting anything. It keeps going between saying rain or snow. <clears throat> well, it's not even saying rain now. Ah, the ice cream spade. Yes, and this works really well to scoop it out. I like this the best. So add that to our list. Yeah, so Jamie, I just looked like two minutes ago and they said no rain and no snow now, so I don't know what's what's happening. But this is Colorado, it's 80 today, and they were saying snow, and it's gonna be 70 on Sunday, and oh, yeah. So okay. the ice cream spade, if you're interested in it, I just shared it on our Living on a Dime shop on Okay, Amazon. I'm almost done, Jack. All right, you want to dig it out? And I'm sharing the link right now. Okay, take your hands and dig it out. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, That's really been good for okay. ice cream, though. Yeah, it works really well. If you need me over there, let me All know. right, so then you just start. You need... <coughs> Everybody tell Mike to take my homemade cough syrup. Oh, I tried it. It says it's zoinks. too spicy. It's just got some stuff that will stop his cough, but he won't take it. I'm Tough sorry. up. It's just a little cayenne pepper. I'm not that bad. <laughs> yes, you are. I think you're that bad. <laughs> Why? Because you're sleeping in the other room? Yes, and I still can't sleep from your coughing. Ugh. I've been sleeping on the couch the last four days because he's been hacking up a lung. Somebody's got to get some sleep around here. <laughs> Catherine says it's her birthday today. Oh, she said, happy love your birthday. books. Today's my birthday. Thank you. Uh, happy birthday, Catherine. Happy birthday. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. So we got it all cleaned out. Okay. So you draw your picture on there while I show them what to do with the seeds, okay? <laughs> Noah's Ark 1962 says men are stubborn. <laughs> um, yeah, Native Texan Kathleen is asking, I'm subscribed to receive all alerts for your show, but not getting any. You have to click the bell and then click get notifications. 
But I thought it didn't always work. It doesn't always, but... I wonder if we should start a mail list or something. Well, I keep saying if we should send out on our newsletter every day, every time we go on the show. <laughs> go sign up for our newsletter and we'll start sending it out for that for the show. I just didn't know if it should be a special list in case people don't want, in case people want the newsletter, but they don't want the reminders. Well, we can do that. Okay, so I have a big bowl with a colander here and I'm pouring in my pumpkin seeds. Now normally we used to do, of course, four or five pumpkins, but now we're down to one. Only one's left. Oh, dad is so sad. He's the only one left. Who? You. What are you talking about? Nobody <laughs> else wants to carve pumpkins. What? Because they're getting older. <laughs> but how is mom going to eat her luscious <laughs> pumpkin seeds? <coughs> And Brown says, looks in a crystal ball. Nope, you will all be healthy by Friday. I, I hope, hope your crystal so. ball is right. <laughs> okay, so then to separate the pumpkin seeds, I mush them through the water. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing here? Okay, so I just mush them through the water and see how they just pop right out. Super simple. They just pop right off. And that's how I separate them. Just get the big globs to the side. Okay. And cool. then I just wash, wash, wash. You know, wash is a hardier form of wash. <laughs> I just can't believe so many people don't know how to pronounce the word wash. This just confuses me. Okay. Wash. <laughs> so there it is, and I'm gonna rinse it one more time in the sink. <laughs> Ooh. Medina 80601 says, I'm wearing sandals in Brighton. I have my boots ready, but I have not used them much. I know, it's crazy. I got to get me some new boots for uh, winter. I have, my boots cracked. That's how old they are. So I have to get me some new boots this year. I just have to. But I usually buy them at the thrift store. And because I'm like a nine and a half or a 10, usually I can find them because my foot's a little bit on the bigger side, but I have not been able to find them. So in a couple of weeks, I am going somewhere and finding me a pair. Okay, so then you put it in here and you bring it to a boil for just about five minutes. Now, you're supposed to salt it afterwards, but I salt it beforehand just a little bit because you know the world needs more salt, people. Yes, it so, does. There we you go. You finally slipped that in today. See? Okay, so now we're gonna bring this to a boil for just a few minutes. Now, these probably won't be done for the show because um, and done. <laughs> they take about an hour to an hour and a half to cook. Oh, cool, okay. Show everybody, hop up, let mom sit down. Show everybody. What so do this you guys is, think? This is what I is, no, this is what I am planning. Okay. So, and then he's going to punch some, are you going to punch some holes in the back with these two? No, actually I'm going to punch one right here for the nose. Oh, okay. And then punch one, ow, punch one right there for the nose. I think you push the tip down first and kind of get it poked in. You have to do what? This. See, and then twist oh. it. Oh. And twist it there. Okay, now twist it going in. There you go. That'll be cute. Yep. Twist, twist, twist. Use those muscles. Yeah, that was some kind of new tool I saw. I didn't know what it was. Oh, it's a twist. nose tool. Mm, I don't know. You can just poke all kinds of holes. Are you through? Okay, hold on. Hold nope. on. Nope. Keep going just a little bit more. <laughs> Not Turn through. You can see okay. it over here. Hold on. There. There. Did we get it? Okay. Now pull it out. It takes them on. Some kind of stuff Good there, job. But... Good. What did it do? Stuffed right here. Oh, here. So take the cutter. Oh. <laughs> wow, well, lots of people raving about the book. That they're really glad Yay, they got it. Yay, guys! So glad you like it. I'm so glad you like it. And as Mike, I have to say, if you go like to the back, I think it's between the indexes, is a little blurb from Mike. <laughs> so I have to tell you guys something funny. <laughs> so Ellie was making pumpkin bread today. And she was not using the wonderful, world-famous pumpkin bread in Dining on a Dime. What? 
And I, yep, no, so poke it? it in the top and then start working your way down. Okay. And I said, what? I know this world famous cookbook that has a really good pumpkin bread in it. And she, guess what she says? Betty Crocker? No. <laughs> she says, but mom, your recipe doesn't have reviews. Our recipe doesn't have I reviews. I said, I think 500,000 copies sold is reviewed enough. <laughs> it doesn't have reviews. Here, she can review it herself. She can look at my copy or your copy or one of the show copies or the old no, she means like, copy. No, she means like people putting five stars for the recipes. Oh, you mean we are? We don't say how good the recipes are. That's well, we don't have all five stars. I know. Duh. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> just name the cookbook the five-star cookbook. We should. Oh, uh, Emmy says thank you for being here Monday, Wednesday, Friday at four thirty Mountain Time. Speaking I know of it's not duh. easy, but thanks for being dependable. Yay! Yay! You're welcome. We like to not miss a show if at all possible. Although oh. today was tempting, I will admit. <laughs> yes, Caliber, we all have the cold. Uh, I was hoping to get better enough by Friday to take over. Well, we have free tickets to go to the pumpkin patch, but we're wondering if we're going to be well enough to do it. See, I'm purple. Ooh, yes. Mm. So Darren said I should nice. gargle with apple West cider side. vinegar. Well, West that's West trace. What's in there? Yeah, but there's also cayenne pepper in there, which kind of ruins the taste. Yeah. Tracy says English apple cider would be even okay. better. That's a great idea, yeah, Tracy. See. And you know what would be even better English is to be cider. drinking the English apple cider in England. I would just love that. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Jessica says, wow, you rule, Jack. Oh, bandana yeah, grandma's guys. here. Hello, Susie. Caliban wants to know who had a PB&J today. Well, Jack's been having PB&Js for like three days because I had to make three sandwiches for that dumb video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I made, I made four sandwiches for that dumb video. Ooh, Julie says so. you're doing that like a pro, Jack. Good job. Do you want to have him on this side so you can see him cutting it? Well, I don't know if he can get at that angle. No, I can't. <laughs> yep, Shirley says you're doing a wonderful job carving your pumpkin. So guess what I did, guys? Okay, okay. Anybody know what this is? I know what that is. Oh, man, oh, man. Anybody know what this is? Take a real <laughs> close look at it. It might, it might be more obvious if I hold it like this. Does anybody know what it is? I'm waiting. Hold on a second. Let me go back there again. Oh, Danielle said use a canning lid to scoop out the mm. canning lid to scoop out the seeds. It works great. Oh um, yeah. Let's see on YouTube. Yeah. Mike, just hold yeah. your nose and drink it. Thanks, Andrea. Uh, I thought you were on my side. Okay, there you go. <laughs> um, Cat lover says you need to stop talking because you sound horrible. Yeah. Too. Somebody stop me. Oh wait, what? Grief. <laughs> Uh, nobody's saying it on YouTube. Nobody knows what this is. Let me switch over to Facebook. Nobody knows quick. what this is. Either that or YouTube comments aren't. Oh, coming or out. they may oh, be really slow. Batty oh, going batty it. has it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy said it. Kathy Contino has it too. Uh, going Let's look on Facebook so, and see. I proceeded yesterday to uh, rip the door handle off of my car. Going batty beat everyone. Wait, I thought Kathy was there first, right? I just above ripped them? Kathy was just under them. The car handle off my door on my car. I was so mad. So now we gotta fix my car. I'm like, what? you're obviously not that sick if you suddenly burst your clothes and rip the handle off the door. <laughs> uh, oh Brandy Lord, says. Is he wanting that thing again? Brandy says drink pickle juice. That's a good idea. Our neighbor has been using his power washer. It is four a quarter to four and he started at one, like 12.45 or one. And it has gone nonstop. Or it just has He's washed thing. everything. We have one neighbor that vacuums for like eight hours oh my goodness, on her car this, she, and refrigerator. He's not kidding. She will spend three hours vacuuming her car. We're like, what um, is in there? So Lisa said, why do you boil them before baking? I never did this before. I usually just bake them. I have no idea. And Kim was wondering what, what now after boiling. So then we're going to throw them on the cookie sheet and we're going to bake them. 
So and that's pretty you. much it for you guys. <coughs> Donna's asking for step-by-step -step instructions. I forgot. Is that on that post, right? Oh yeah. My, Duh. Mike I'm was so supposed sorry. to be putting the instructions in there, but I was putting in everything else, and I forgot about that one. That <laughs> okay. Um, I'm posting instructions. It says here's the recipe. Oh, wow, you're doing good. But it's got the step-by-step. Okay, turn step it around. Show them what it's uh, looking like oops. so far. So I haven't cut out there the mouth, but I have done this. Oh yeah, door handle. Good job. Oh, like out. And Brown okay. says Gorilla Glue will fix it. I don't know. We've tried Gorilla Glue on several things and it didn't work for us. I have to tell them the story now. What story? When we lived in Idaho, we were 70 miles from civilization. <coughs> and one day when we flushed the toilet, the thing broke and we're like, what? So we take the lid off and we look in the back and the little, where the chain hooks onto the flapper, the flapper broke and part of the flapper was on the chain and the flapper, the rest of the flapper was in the toilet. Oh. So, Abby. Abby. what? Important thing. Abby Smith said she had to put us on hold for a few minutes. Her daughter called to say that she would be a grandma again. Woohoo! Oh, that is awesome news. Who, who said it? Uh, Emmy Smith. Emmy. Oh, cool. Very nice. Well, congratulations, yep. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so, that toilet thing had separated, and we were like, we don't have, it would take four hours to get to the store and back. So, we ended up draining the whole thing, and we put a little dab of super glue on it. We thought that'll hold till the weekend when we can get that. Like, two years later, when we sold the house, it was still just fine. <laughs> It have been working all that time underwater. Yep. <laughs> okay, so then you put them on a cookie sheet. So can I see this, Dave? And then you sprinkle it with salt. Or we have on the website, like, how many different ways? We have, like, 12 or, I don't know. We have a For crease. No. Put baking grease. You want bacon grease? Oh, on that, pe uh, that okay, post? Okay, hand me the bacon grease. We'll I'm going to share the post grease. again in the comments, yeah, guys. Yeah, they're not very good at cooked, but you can try them. So you can see, oh. and then I'll count how many methods we have. Oh, yeah, lots of creative ways to decorate them, right? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about the pumpkin right? seeds. Yeah. Oh. I mean, decorate them, like, spruce them up. No, that's honey butter. Oh. I think um, the bacon grease is so in a big... So the post I just shared, jar. yeah, it has a bunch of tips about pumpkin. But on the roast pumpkin seeds, no. there are a couple of, there's some variations like sweet and spicy and dill Keep pickle looking. and pizza pumpkin seeds and cinnamon sugar. So. So we've got several different varieties. If you guys like, I love pumpkin seeds. I think they taste great. So Denise says I cracked Whoa, up on that. Whoa, what happened to all my bacon grease? Ellie. Denise says I oh cracked up on that. Oh my goodness, this was like full. This morning. Oh. Ooh, lots of people have been making the honey baked chicken. Teresa said, I made it last night. I'll give it 10 stars. Yay, it's good, isn't it? That honey baked chicken. Go comment on our video and tell people how great it is, guys, please. Okay, so I'm going to spread bacon grease on this and we're going to see what this tastes like. I've never done bacon oh, grease. No. Oh, no. But yes. I bet it's good. Some people were asking. I'm yes, that, that piece is from the car door. Kind of. Uh oh. You just kind of cut off the see? tooth? See, you need a Where? Wonder Woman hat to See, go. Well, you it. know what? Then just make another tooth right there. Maybe mine should so be Wonder up Woman over here. Wait, but mom, okay. this, mom, what? This is also cut though. I know, but if you go down and oh. up and down. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, so I'm spreading the bacon grease over it, just because we want to try it. Because everything tastes better with salt and bacon. <laughs> bacon especially. Ah, uh, dear. Don says, or not Don. Uh, Denise Maybe says, long, ease up on the Wheaties. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how high do I cook these, dear? I don't remember. Uh, we can look at the recipe. Do, 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 do. You do it at 500 degrees. Uh, so it goes extra fast and then we can. So it goes 250 out. degrees. Yeah, because you're drying them out. Oh. Okay, so I'm putting them in the oven. Can you do that with like um, popcorn seeds? No, and you can't do it with popcorn seeds. Oh. Okay, you need help? There we go. Got it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I just need to clean this out. All right, you need me to trim it for you? Junk. Is it? Great job, junk Jack. Here. Everyone's saying, great job. Looks great, Jack. You want me to trim the mouse so it's wider? How can you even see it? Well, because you, you turned it around and we're delayed. Oh. Okay, so let me trim this part here just a second. Hmm. So you can see in the mouth better. All right, there's your tooth. <laughs> okay, looking good. Okay, turn around and show them. 
So, do you want to sometimes turn off all the lights and oh. then put the light in? Okay, put the light in and let's see if it'll show on there. It might. Okay, get the turn the light on first. Do you want to turn off the lights? We can. Okay. Turn it on. Okay. Put it in. So here's the light. It's rainbow. Okay, Dad, turn off that one. Jack, turn off the big lights. We'll oh, see. did the tooth come off? We'll see if we because can. Because Pamela said you can put the tooth back in with the toothpick. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll see if you can see it. I don't know. It may not be dark enough yet. Uh, are these, is the pumpkin stuff in the cookbook? Yes. So the, oh, well, that was the whole point of the show, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sharing the link to the so, actual recipe on the geez. website here. So the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, I can see it. Pumpkin seeds, page 318 in Dining on a Dime cookbook. They can kind of see it. Can they kind of see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yep. Good. Pumpkin seeds right here. Roasted pumpkin seeds, page 318. Dining on a Dime cookbook. That is cute, Jack. You know what, Jack? We should set him on our shelf right outside the window, and then we can see him at night. That would be cool, wouldn't it? So yeah. Diana Dime Cookbook, page 318. <laughs> Michael put the link in there for you to order. Good job! Oh, yes. Okay, you can turn back on the lights ah. now while we're doing that. Sorry, let me get the link there. Turn um, this off. Good show, Maynard. Okay. Oh, man, my hands smell good like bacon now. Let's see. Mm. Okay, I just put that link in for you guys. Yeah. Sorry about well, the delay on that. Tell it's going to be cooked. The pumpkin seeds, mm -hmm. like 45 minutes. <coughs> Jack hates the pumpkin seeds. It takes seeds. a long time. Here, we should have done some ahead of time. Okay, bye. Oh, Angela didn't see that, but she did say thanks again, so I assume that means she got the book. Yay, I'm glad you got it. Paige wants to know, what's the pumpkin's name? What's your pumpkin's name, Jack? Herman Shawowski. I have no idea. <laughs> How about we name him Peter the Pumpkin? They said they could see it a little, and it looks awesome. I think we should name him Peter. Hi, the Katie pumpkin. Jo. Oh my, my apron is very crooked. Parks is almost completely dark here in Michigan. Yeah, we're two time zones behind you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep, they did see. So is the the time change a week from Sunday or two weeks from Sunday? Um. All right, let me see. Mm -hmm. I will be sharing the recipe again for those of you who are asking. So Teresa said she sent me some property in Wisconsin. Hmm. So I got the whole backyard finished today, even though I wasn't feeling good. I got all the rest of the plants cut down. I got everything taken out front that has to go to the Goodwill. And all the trash is gone. Well, we didn't really have trash, but I mean stuff that we would throw away. And everything is ready outside for winter. Nice. So now, I'm so glad. I can concentrate and make soap, which, by the way, guys, I have two announcements. One, thank you very, very much. We were able to pay all of BJ's medical bills with this sale. All of them. So far, they still have not found anything. Mike's going to call the doctor tomorrow and say, hey, what's up on the blood work? Because we still haven't heard from the blood work. I should send myself a reminder. <laughs> And, um, so we're going to call tomorrow and see if we can figure out what is going on with blood work. There you go. See, that's technology for you. Yeah. Um, I'm not but, playing video games. Yeah, no, but thank you guys. We really, really appreciate it. Um, yes, it was much. another several thousand dollars again, <laughs> I think. Yeah. We hope that it actually gives us an answer. We hope that the blood work will maybe say something that the CT scan and the EKG and the x-ray and everything else didn't say, but we'll see. So secondly, thank you for buying all the soap too. We greatly appreciate it. Um, I am almost totally sold out of soap. Uh, the bars, the ones that are left on there, and I didn't look before the show to see if I got any more orders, but um, this morning... The ones that were on there only had a couple of bars each left. So tomorrow, I am going to be making a ton of soap. So, yes, I am. 
So here's my question. Do you guys like the to buy the fancy soap or the non-fancy soap more? Sorry, I forgot you guys I was just kind of curious what, oh my goodness, why is my nose itching so bad? Um, I was just kind of curious. Oh, that means somebody's thinking about you. Are you thinking about me? I am. Um, but your nose usually doesn't do that when I'm thinking of you. Oh. It kind of flares out on the sides. And <laughs> Ramona made no, peppermint soap doesn't. today. No, it doesn't. Ooh, yay, Ramona. Um, Did you say that? So, yeah. Oh. Uh, we, we don't know. We've got some kind of flu Louise going on. We're not sure what's happening with us. Um, Ooh, Judy says, please do liquid hand soap and pumpkin spice scent. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was another important, important, important. Um, who was it? Krista. Oh, no, Krista. Krista said something important, too, but let me see. There was somebody else who had a, a grandbaby announcement. Dave, can you write bacon on the grocery list? Ramona found out today they're going to induce my daughter-in-law Friday going to have a new granddaughter. Emerson. Oh, how fun. Congratulations, Ramona. That's a different name. I like that. Bacon? Um, <clears throat> do I bake my bacon. pumpkin to make pie? Um, no, because <coughs> usually by the time the kids Sorry. are done with it for Halloween, it's all rotted. So, yeah. But you can Aww. cut your pumpkin in half, throw it in an oven, 350 degrees, and bake it for about 35 minutes to an hour, depending on how big your pumpkin is. When a fork or knife goes in easily, it's done baking. Scoop it out, and you can dehydrate it to save it later if you want, or you can can it, or you can pack it in freezer bags and stack them flat and have fresh pumpkin puree. But when you use fresh pumpkin puree, Make sure you drain it before using it in your pies because it has too much water and it's best to leave out a quarter to a half a cup of water because it's so watery. Or I mean, quarter to a half a cup of your liquid in your pie. So, yes. Well, thank you, everyone. A lot of people talking about praying for BJ and we're thank very you guys. thankful for that. Um, we had a bunch of other questions, but there was something I thought, which is the one? Um, so Ramona asked, have you ever made chicken soup in a pumpkin? And then Tammy said, mm -hmm. I've done beef stew in a pumpkin. Never heard of that before. I have never heard of that. Huh. I wonder if it's good. I don't know. Tammy, send me the email or send me the recipe. Who else was it? Uh, Tammy had the beef stew. Yeah, Tammy and Ramona, and Ramona send me chicken. the recipe. Louise wants to know if Jack's going to huh. dress up. Uh, Judy, you got rid of your credit cards. How can you purchase uh, Dining on a Dime? You can send a check. $21.95 for one book, $4.50 shipping for one book, and a dollar for each additional book. It is Living on a Dime, P.O. Box 193, Mead, Colorado, 80542. Living on a Dime. Here, I'll share that in the. P.O. Box 193, Mead, Colorado, 80542. There's something else you can do too if you want it faster. You can, um, if you have a PayPal account or want to get one, you can go to PayPal. Set up an account and attach it to your bank account, at least temporarily, and then um, you can order it right then. That that's a fast way, but yeah, we yeah. do we do definitely do the mail order. Yeah, as well. we do chips. Um, and Pavlov, I think I can't see very well over to where Mike's at, but uh, do I have soap for sensitive skin? Yes, I do have some. It's just the unscented soap. BJ has eczema really bad, and so does my brother, and they love it. And so, um, <laughs> sorry. She also wants to know, is it body or hand soap? It's body soap. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. And Amy says, I'd buy just well, any soap you make. It's just bar soap. So you can make it hand or body either way. So, yeah. Oh, somebody was asking if we watched Seven Brides for Seven Brothers yet. Not yet. Actually, it's on. I was thinking about doing it this oh, evening. Yes. I was thinking about, we haven't, we've been... <laughs> We've been so sick and we got behind, so we haven't been sitting and watching our movies very much because it's been like 9.30 before we got to sit down. So we're going to hopefully watch that tonight or tomorrow. Oh, it looks like Turid checked in. Hi, Turid. Uh, so so there, some people are being brutal today. Denise said, if your nose itches, you're going to kiss a fool. Uh-oh, I better not Who's kiss you. Who's that? Who you I won't be kissing, be kissing you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I'm not sure which of those is better. 
Amy says itchy nose is company coming in. Jeannie says sometimes my nose gets tingly before I get a cold. Yeah. Hope you Ellie, aren't getting sick. Ellie, uh, everybody late. loved your pumpkins. <laughs> she just was so excited, and I was excited when she brought them home. I, they are just the coolest things ever. Uh, Pamela is asking, I didn't know Tar made liquid soap. I don't make liquid soap. I just make bar soap right now. Barb says, so. I love the lavender lemon and the oatmeal honey. Yeah, so I'm going to make another lavender lemon. Am I supposed to share the link to your soap? Yes, thing? you can share it. Do you what have I, any left? I have a few bars of... Everything that's on there has like two or three bars left, but you know, if you guys want it, go for it. So I'm sharing the link to the Etsy store here where her soap is. I had a couple people buy like 15 and 25 bars each. <laughs> I had wow. 15 loaves that held 16 bars each a month ago that I made and it's all gone. Uh, oh, Louise is asking, can we see the pumpkin bread? Um, yeah, Ellie made, made it right here. And, and I tasted it, and it is just as delicious as mine. So if you need a good recipe, Dining on a Dime cookbook. Yes, but there it is. She made it very delicious and tasty. Michelle wants to know how much the pumpkins usually cost where we are. Um, Just one second, and I will tell you that. The pumpkin bread is on page 100 in Dining on a Dime, if you want that. And the roasted pumpkin seeds on page 318. So at Walmart, we can get them for about $4. Ellie paid $8 for this fancy, fancy one, which I was happy to do because I really like it. And we'll probably keep it through Thanksgiving if it'll hold. And then we're going to dry the seeds and, and grow them next year. So, um, why are pumpkin seeds in the store green? I've seen that too. I think it's because of the way they process it. Oh, no, it. it's not. I'll tell you why. Because, ow, that hurt. Um... Is, do we have a seed left anywhere? Yeah, here's a seed. Okay, so this part is, okay, so can you guys see that? <coughs> can you guys see that part? Can they see yeah. that, Dave? China. That is the shell, actually. And you can eat the shell. It's great fiber. I eat it all the time. Same here. But. That's the best part. But they crack the shell, the green ones in the store, they crack them. Let me see. Oh! Oh, oh my, woo! Fling it, oh well, I can't get it peeled very well. Um, it's easier when they're dried, when they dry them out, but hold on, let me see if I can, get, oh, oh wait, maybe, I think I got it, hold on. Chill well, okay. wants to know, can you use seeds from any pumpkin, I eat butternut? Show everyone. Yeah, you can, and you can use squash seeds if you want. Say hi to Chumley, okay. Say hi to Chumley. There's Chumley, he's being a turd, he's, he wants outside. He's trying to, Claw me to death. Oh. Okay, so you can see here, I took the seed out. Okay, can you guys see that now? So that's why they're green, because this is the actual seed and this is the shell of the seed. So it's like if you had sunflower seeds, this would be the shell and this would actually be the seed. That's why. So, here I just about sat on the floor without a stool. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay, Toby says I squeeze my cooked pumpkin on a cheesecloth to eliminate the liquid. Yes, you can, yes, you do need to thoroughly drain cooked pumpkin if you've frozen it because it will be too liquidy for your pumpkin pie. So very thoroughly push it through. Cheesecloth is a great idea. Colander or just push it on the bottom of the bowl with a strainer, however you want to do it, but thoroughly, oh great, can you let him out? Thoroughly drain it before making pumpkin pie. <laughs> Duck flying seeds. <laughs> and if you guys want an amazing pie crust, Michael put the link on there. Go to livingonadime.com and type in pie crust. What? They have pie crust They there have too? the best pie crust ever. You will not eat a better pie crust oh, ever. Do you have that in there? And um, someone stole my pie crust recipe and it's going all over uh, Facebook. I'm ticked. What? Um, it's mom's recipe, page 247 in Dine on a Dime cookbook, page 247 is the pie crust. And actually, next week, we are getting all of our Thanksgiving videos done, and pie crust is one of them. So we're going to be making a turkey and a pie crust and mashed potatoes and gravy and 
a couple of other things too. I can't remember what else. So. Okay, so I finally got the pie crust recipe. I'm mm -hmm. sharing it now. Mm. You don't want to eat with your fingers? Good catch. Um, all right, let's see. I love pumpkin seeds too, Medina. I mean, that's one of my favorite. Go and Batty, put your link for your um, channel in. Go and Batty's on after us tonight. Hmm. Ooh, and Brown says all the opens in Pflugerville on oh, November Oh, you're 2nd. not supposed to can squash? Okay, sorry. I'm not a canner, so I don't know. Okay, I have no idea. Anne says, I've been using your cookbook like crazy all summer. I hope that means you just love Yay! it. Yay! So thank you. Thank, appreciate You know, that. people keep sending us pictures. We should do a compilation. Pictures oh, from people? let's do that. Okay, guys, go to our Facebook page and post a picture of you and your Dining on a Dime cookbook, and we will make a uh, compilation of it. We Excellent. have people sending us picture, <coughs> pictures <coughs> all the time with them and their cookbook. Send us a picture with you and your cookbook. And here's what we'll do. No, well, I, I, I'm in the middle of comments. No. Whoever sends us your picture in the compilation, I'll pick a winner out oh. of all the people who send oh. us a picture. Okay, that's easier. So uh -huh. send us a picture, put, should, put it on Facebook. If people make a recipe they really love, we should have a picture with yeah. the recipe. Yeah, or if you're making a recipe, make a recipe and show the recipe with you in the book. June says, how long do you bake the seeds for? Um, about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how many seeds you have. Now this, this batch will probably take about 45 minutes to an hour. Normally, when all four kids were, were doing pumpkins, the whole thing would be full, so it would take about an hour and a half, and you need to stir them in between. Oh, so, thanks for the encouragement. Amy says, y'all have the best Bisquick mix, too. I'll never buy store Bisquick again. Bisquick, Dining on a Dime cookbook. Nice. We have that on our website, too. It's the baking mix. On our website, just type in baking mix, and it is on page 50 in Dining on a Dime, right here, 50. Yay. Uh, yes. Tracy likes the cap, Dave. Yeah. I had a, a different one I got in Ireland, and, and who sent it? I forgot. Uh, um, Jessica. Jessica, yes. And so we, we've kind of both been wearing different ones, even though that one I think was for me. <laughs> so. Yes, it's for you. Um, oops, let's see. Roberta, I just received my Yay! book and can't put it down. Thank you. What's for dinner seeing you're all sick? Louise, nothing. Mike's, today is his not eating day. I Pop am not corn. hungry. David's not hungry. Jack's going to have leftover stone soup from last night. By the way, if you need a good recipe for a great stew, which is what we base ours off of, Paige, feeling, now you're not feeling, feeling so good. Well. You're not feeling so well? No, I'm not feeling so well. Oh, great. We got another I, one coming down. I feel like I can eat, but... I can't. I like. I'm not. I feel starting to feel. Oh great! Bad. Now you're starting to feel uh -oh. bad. Got another one down. Diana said I got the electronic ebook or cookbook. Uh, and then I got my daughter the actual cookbook, and I want to keep it too. <laughs> <laughs> she bought the ebook and. Oh, Joanne wants to know where to send the picture. You said... Um, post it on my Facebook page, or you can email it at, to editor at livingonadime.com. Um, Margaret's Kathy, it is made with shortening. The pie crust. So... Tammy says you can can squash, just not puree. I don't know. I I'm wonder not, why. I'm not canning. Person. I don't know anything about canning. I do not can... I don't like canning. I'm not sure so. what Kathy's asking you about. You probably just mentioned something else. She said, is it made with butter? Yeah, I already answered okay, it. Okay, yeah. you did? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, yep, they're saying how cute the cat is. Oh, Judy said she's sad. She got laid off after 28 years. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. Let's see. Oh, Amy said my husband just lost his job. Friday and our insurance went with it. Sorry, Amy. Oh, Barb yeah. wants to know what's the deadline for pictures. Oh, I don't know. When should we get it? Two weeks? November 15th. We'll do November 15th. That'll give people enough time to cook something and take a picture and send it to me. How's that sound? And then we'll put a video together of all the people who have done that, and we'll pick a winner out of it. And you can pick any of our books. If you already have Dining on a Dime and you want something different. By the way, we are almost to 60,000 subscribers. We're only like 400 away. 
on YouTube. So if you're on the Facebook side or if you're on YouTube and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because we're going to give away one of mom's aprons. You think we can do it by Sunday? Maybe Saturday. Wait, sorry, I was hitting comments. Hit 60,000 subscribers. It looks pretty good. Maybe close. we should go all day Saturday until we hit 60,000 subscribers. Oh no. I could carry the camera around on my head while we're doing whatever we're doing Saturday. What do you think? Until we get there. Well, that's going to delay people because they'll want to see you on longer. Oh, <laughs> so, listen to you. So Denise wants to know how Ellie's feeling. Ellie is, I think Ellie is the only one not sick at the moment. So that's good. So we're dropping like flies around and here. Michelle says not to be rude for asking why is Mike not eating day? He is losing weight and he has one day where he eats and the next day he only eats 500 calories and one day he eats and the next day he eats 500 calories and he has lost, hold on, me. I think 20 pounds. 20 pounds! So good job, honey! So that's a good start. Oh, <laughs> Still working on it, but yeah, honestly I was trying different things and nothing was working. But I found this, it's a, it's a diet that's, I kind of had an idea and I was Googling my idea to see if I could find something like it. And this uh, lady had put this together. She's a scientist and yeah, it was basically eat what you want on one day and then on the next day eat only 500 calories. And mostly as one meal and a snack. Uh, and it's working great. Patty, I don't know when we're going to do free shipping again. We are going to have a, a Black Friday sale. We did have another, uh, um, some other kinds Pumpkin of pies. <clears throat> well, fake, well, pumpkin in a can isn't fake. It's still pumpkin. <laughs> it's just canned pumpkin. But to make real roasted pumpkin pie, it's the same exact recipe. You just strain it really well so that all the water is out because the excess water can make your pie runny, so. Um. Uh, Kathy, all the books have been shipped. It will take seven to ten sh business days via media mail through the post office. We ship media mail to save you guys money. The shipping is half the cost going priority, or yeah, going priority. So, so Glow is asking, can you fix seed, the seeds? Can you make the seeds in the microwave? I don't know. So, what is the situation on the seeds right now? They're cooking, but I don't think they're going to be done in time. So everything's done except they're baking. Yeah. Well, actually, they are looking pretty good. I turned them up higher because Dave wanted me to. Now, you should cook them slower, but you can already see. I put them on higher because Dave was dying. Um, but they're getting there. So when they start getting toasted, then you just stir them around. Do we have a pumpkin pie recipe? Um, I think so, yeah. On the website? Oh, yeah, we should. I think so. In that, yeah, right there. Is that it? Yeah, recipes? I think that's it. Okay, so then flatten them out, back out again, and put them back in. Okay. So we'll give it just a few, we'll give it 10 more minutes until the show is done. Oh, and then, um, uh, then. We'll have Dave do a taste test. I think they might be done. They may need to go just a little bit longer. Oh, I love pumpkin pie. And if you guys are gluten-free, what I do is I just don't make the crust. I just make a pumpkin custard out of the pie mix. Oh, man, it is so good. I love, I could eat pumpkin pie all the time. Let's see my favorite pies. Pumpkin, blueberry, and coconut are my favorite pies. What's your favorite? I know what your favorite pie is. Chocolate with lots of whipped cream. Chocolate with lots of whipped cream is awesome. Apple pie, that mm -hmm. old-fashioned apple pie. Mwah. Especially with a little little blob of ice cream. Although ice cream and nummy aren't quite getting along. Uh, Tracy, sorry, here's the link with the pumpkin pie recipe. I'm sharing it in the comments. Oh, and dining on a dime. Let's see, where is it in dining? I think we have it in here. Yes, page 255 in dining on a dime, if you have it, page 255. And I'm also gonna put it in the um, description below on YouTube, um, in case you don't see it in the comments. Why do we have ranch dressing in there? I just, I thought it was in there with the previous time you made the oh, seeds, and I didn't know if you wanted to dip it in there. Oh. <coughs> mm. Cynthia says, sorry y'all are sick, not fun at all. Eh, yeah, it's not fun, but thank you, Joanne. I appreciate the 20 pounds. Actually, you say no willpower. 
usually I can last about 15 minutes. <laughs> But with the every other day thing, it's been cool because I just have to get to lunch. Well, I'll drink coffee in the morning and I just have to get to lunch. And it was hard the first three or four days where I had to only have the one meal. And now, since then, like today was my light day and I was, it was lunchtime and I just wasn't hungry. So I didn't eat lunch till two o'clock. And um, so it's been really, it's been really easier. I mean, it still requires a little bit of holding out but it's kind of cool when you can say oh, I'll just wait till lunch and then oh you know tomorrow I can eat whatever so I'll I'll just hold out a couple more hours and go to bed and I'll drink coffee in the morning and like maybe decaf in the evening if I'm struggling a little but I tend to wait for my snack as late as possible so like after this <laughs> will be my snack which will be popcorn and it's filling enough to get me through to bed. Bandana says she thinks that my fever is affecting me doing a show all day while you're sick with the camera on her head. <laughs> yes, I, I think so. Oh, uh, Tracy, I agree. Thank you for noticing in the old videos the difference. Your svelte self. Yeah. I won't be able to know, recognize you one day. You'll walk out of the bedroom and I'll say, where did you go? I yeah. thought that was a ghost. Well, here I was working on Ireland videos today and I thought, oh man, I don't like seeing me on camera in those. So I thought, but you know what? After I lose a lot of weight, I can. I can show before and after. So Jamie wants to know, how do you fix the seeds to save them for next year? That was moving me. <laughs> <coughs> I got down to the bottom of my cough concoction and the cayenne pepper kind of hit me there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you cut it open, scoop out the seeds like I did, and you just lay them out flat to dry. That's how you save them for next year. Then when they're totally dry, Put them in an envelope, a paper envelope, not plastic, and label them. I store mine in the freezer because they last longer, because I don't use them all in one year. And then just keep them and you can start them next year. Oh, somebody here was saying, so I guess the debate on the pumpkin pie is that uh, when you do it, or pumpkin um, canning, mm -hmm. is that when you do it yourself, it sounds like it doesn't get hot enough in the middle. Mm -hmm. but somebody was saying the manufacturers have different equipment that apparently can process it which is why they can and it's not recommended at home. There were, um, so in about five minutes, Going Batty's gonna be on. Mm -hmm. And so uh, once we get done, if you guys wanna see a pretty cool couple with their own show, um, that would be a good place to go and we'll on share YouTube. a link for them, yeah. I don't think they're on both yet. I don't know. They're Maybe just they on YouTube right now, but I, they're trying to figure out a way to do both. So I was gonna see if I could help them with that. So anyway, um, we're just that far ahead of everyone because your wife says, I know it can be done, so let's do it. And you're like, ah! like, what do you think? I'm a miracle worker. Yes, and then I three do. hours later, <gasps> oh, oh, oh. wow, I don't know how that happened, but it was the Holy Spirit, not me. <laughs> um, okay. Well, so, okay. Amy T, why not put seeds in plastic? Because she keeps her in the Ziploc bag, because if there's any amount of moisture at all in the bag, it can rot your seeds or mold them and then they won't germinate correctly. So if you notice, almost every company uses paper for seeds. So that's why. Oh, your mom says we have pecan pie in the book and it's really good. Yes, we do. Okay, so I cranked up the temperature to get them done quicker. Mm, man. Okay, guys. So here's what they're looking Ooh, like. They smell good. Okay, that's not good. Now, like I said, usually we have three or four pumpkins, but okay, so let me cool this off for just a minute. Ugh. Denise said the fly is back. I know. Uh, it's, it's stalking us, it won't leave us alone. Okay, we're gonna let this cool for just a sec. All right. Watch that fly just somehow live through the um, winter. So do we want to pie. look through the other... Yeah, mom's pie? favorite pie is pecan pie, and I, I like it, it's not my favorite, but... Do we want to look? It's at a really good pot. Mom's is a really good pie. Do we want to do what? Oh, sorry. I was just going to pull up some of the old comments before we go. Okay. You okay? Oh, okay. Um, Paige Stone Soup is good. Let's see. We asked a bunch of these already. Michelle says pumpkin pie and sweet potatoes. Oh, hmm. that's a new one. I never heard of that. They're kind of similar too, right? Yeah. Um, Amy loves our Bisquick. Did she already say that, I think? Yeah, I that's okay. I'm looking to see, 
Krista said I made pumpkin chili oh. for our fall harvest party and it's always a big hit and very healthy. Mm. Okay, Dave. Heard of pumpkin Come here. chili? Hmm. I've never heard. Well, yeah, I have. Oh, I yum. had some and I didn't. I don't know, I wasn't that impressed, but See, maybe she didn't make a good one. Denise just got my attention. She said, now I want a BLT with all the bacon talk. But not till tomorrow. Why is that? Mmm. No, Yum. Um, Turned out pretty good. Let's see, anything okay. else that we haven't talked about in the old stuff? Yeah. Oh, Penny said the other day we were talking about good movies from the past. Oh yeah, I'm making a list for our, for a post for us. But she said she made a mistake on the glass bottom boat. She thought it had Cary Grant and Doris Day, but it was Rod Taylor. Mm, that's fine. Do we know who Rod Taylor is? I have no idea. I guess we need to get a Rod Taylor mirror. Apparently. Oh, let me see. Before Golden Batty comes on, if I can crack one of these opens and show you what the seed looks like. And PNC Atkinson and um, Mrs. Brownstone were both awesome. new and said that they were glad to be able to catch a live Thank show. Thank you, guys. Okay, so can you see the shell and then the seed there? Oh, yeah, kind of. Can you see it? Can you put it up closer? Can you oh, see yeah. that? Mm -hmm. So that's the green part that you see in the store if you do that. But you can eat that regular. Oh, mm. oh these are my favorite. Brandy says, oh, pumpkin pecan pie, or pumpkin pecan pie, oh, heaven. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, I salted these before I put them in. Robin says, sweet potato pie is the best. Ooh, Spanish cream? You know, I don't think what I've ever that? had sweet potato pie. I have no idea what Spanish cream is. Well, I think I've had sweet potato pie. I can't remember where I had it. Huh. It was really good. If I... Wow. All right. Okie dokie. Well, let's just see if there are any other questions before we turn it over to going batty. Um, oh, um, butterscotch pie. Jeannie, I've never had butterscotch pie. Jeannie, Jack is going to be a guy from Minecraft. <laughs> Lucy says shepherd's pie and cottage pie. Yum. Yeah. Um. Oh, is Barb on there? Hello, Barb! Yay. Oh, uh, Ludmilla is asking, what does it taste like, the seeds? I think the seeds. I don't know. How would you describe them? They're just pumpkin seeds. Um, they kind of have a nutty flavor. They're kind of nutty. Um, and depending on what you flavor them with, they have that flavor too, but these taste really good. Talking about toad and the whole sausages and Yorkshire pudding. What is Yorkshire pudding? I should have... <gasps> I wish Sue would come on the show and make Yorkshire pudding and what's that other thing that they eat at Christmas time in England? She doesn't ever want to be on the show, oh, but... Um, um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, wait, are you talking about another pudding? Yeah, I thought there was another pudding there that they is. eat a lot. Mom would know. Uh, oh man, come on. Yorkshire um, pudding and what is the other pudding they always eat? You always see it in the shows. I don't know. It's in the song. Oh, plum pudding. No. Well, there's plum pudding too, which would be interesting to try. No, that's not it. Oh. See if anybody has it on there before we go for a bit going back. Um, and somebody was asking, I posted the going batty link just again, and I'm going to post it again before we leave. Scroll um, up and let's see if anybody knows what we're talking about. Oh, chicken, steak, and onion, cheese, and onion, steak, and cheese. Scroll up. Well, up or down? You mean down. I want to see the top of the... the. Oh, this is the new. I'm sorry. I was thinking that was... No, not... Figgy pudding. Isn't uh, that the, what they yeah, eat? Yeah, figgy pudding. Isn't that what they eat in England? I Pamela don't know. says the pudding you set on fire. I think it is, isn't it? Is that the pudding you set on fire? That's what I was figgy thinking. Figgy pudding, yes. We'll have to I wonder some. if Sue ever makes that. We should ask Sue to come on the show and make it with us. Figgy pudding. So bring us some... I'll have to make figgy pudding for our show. You know, Let's Sue's been on a couple that. of our videos, even though they weren't live. And I'm thinking that we should say, look, Sue, you did awesome on those, so mm -hmm. why don't you come on live? Okay, guys, we gotta go. We will see you on Friday. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Need to figure it out. All right. Going Batty is on now. Here's the link to Going Batty in the comments. YouTube. Go check them out. They're fun. They are fun, yes. We try to get on there when we can, but usually we're turning down the show, so I miss it. But All right. Have a good night. Yeah, Please good night. like, share, comment, subscribe. Please. And all that good jazz and visit us at livingonadime.com. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you Friday. Or hopefully my voice is back. <laughs> Yorkshire's a popover. Hmm. It is.